Destiny arrives all the same. And now it's here. Or should I say... What's up guys, it's the only ninja wearing aviators and a superhero. I bring you another video here on the Modern Ninja channel. Now today we're doing another weapon log review going over this bow staff right here, the Thanos staff, the Infinity Staff, and my new XMA bow staff. But brother intro. Now before we start, I want to let you know, this is sent to me by 10th Degree Weaponry to review. I'm going to let you know my honest opinion, uh, tell you what the, some good things about it, some negative things about it. So uh, let's get to it. So this is going to be a tapered XMA bow staff. What that means is this is going to be very, very light and kind of fragile. This allows it to spin incredibly quickly when you start spinning it around. But any impact that it has, whether it's on the ground or with another bow staff while trying to do combat drills, may break this staff. Now this is going to be a wooden core staff, meaning the inside of it is all wood, with a wrap that makes it look kind of like the Infinity Gauntlet if it was a bow staff, with the Thanos blue and then six of the Infinity Stone colors, which honestly is kind of cool. I, I love that feature about it. And then the grip in the middle is going to be your, uh, I guess, the gauntlet color, but it's not actually a grip. This is just going to be the paper covering on it. Now the colors on this bow staff are not paint. It is going to be the wrapping that goes on it. So excessively dropping it and damaging it will uh, eventually take its toll on some of the tape. Now you can kind of prolong the life of this staff by either coating it in clear tape or what my personal suggestion would be kind of doing a nice light clear coat of paint on there just to keep it more uh, solid and protected from the elements when you're dropping it and doing the tricks and stuff like that. But for you more advanced guys that know what you're doing with XMA staff that don't drop it quite as much as a beginner would, this is an excellent staff to have and it's going to look awesome in tournaments when people start using this in tournaments. Now I have been putting in a lot of practice with this bow staff recently just to kind of get a feel for it. Get to know the things I like and dislike about it. I love the fact that it's tapered. I love the weight of this bow staff. It's light enough so that I can toss it with ease, but it's heavy enough so that I can still do my rolls without too much issue. Ow! <laughs> oh, this is gonna hurt. However, nothing is without its negatives. Now, the main issue I have with this bow staff is that the material it uses can cause your hands to get clammy, which allows it to stick to your hands even though you don't want it to, make it a little harder to do things like palm spins uh, and other contact spins. Now, is that a major issue? If it got super sticky, it would be, but it's not unbearable. It is definitely workable, and I've been doing bow staffs around that I can just slightly adjust, you know, uh, how I'm training with it and it will be just fine and again it only happens when you train extensively with this bow staff uh, if you're using this just for tournaments and just for show when you're doing demonstrations and stuff like that you won't really have that problem uh, if you're doing it you know once twice maybe even three times uh, three run throughs with your form or whatever you're using it for however if you start to actually practice with this staff and get sweaty uh, and get going hours in it will eventually start to clam up and you will you will have to you know wipe your hands off and kind of readjust every now and then so you can still use the bow staff the correct way now this bow staff is also quite beautiful when it spins i'll insert a clip here of me spinning it around but it looks amazing in the sun and in the light when it flickers off of there especially i find especially the gold pieces surrounding the infinity colors make it look that much uh, prettier when you're spinning it around and using it in tournament. I don't know if you picked this up from the video about how many times I've said it already, but this is definitely a competition bow. This is not something that you're going to want to practice combat in. You're not going to want to practice traditional striking and blocking or anything like that. This is a competition bow and it is an excellent competition bow for any of you that want to check it out. Again, I'll leave links down in the description. It's at 10thDegreeWeaponry.com, but I'll leave a direct link uh, for you guys I'm not getting paid for this video, but they sent me this and I love reviewing weapons So I would decided to give it a good review for you guys now if you made it to this part of the video I do have a couple announcements. We have a giveaway coming up now 
that I passed 20,000 subscribers uh, on my way to 25,000 subscribers once we hit that mark I will be giving away two different items one on Instagram and one on YouTube uh, I'll leave information about those giveaways down in the description it's super easy to enter super easy to enter uh, just check that out if you are interested in doing that also I know you guys have a ton of ideas of cool things to do and I love getting ideas from you guys on different videos to do in the future so if you want to give me some ideas definitely hit me up in the comments or better yet check out my discord because I have notifications on there always and you can just direct message me on discord you can tag me in the message and you can give me whatever suggestions you have and we can talk about it on there we could you know develop it you can help me develop some of my videos so if that interests you at all definitely drop some ideas down in this eh, down in the discord again it's gonna be in the description down below and lastly if you like both stats half as much as I do I just made a new playlist uh, going over both stats and talking about you know different kind of both stats showing every single Boast that video I've ever had on this channel. So if that interests you, I'll leave links down in the corner. I can't remember. I think it's this corner. Might be this corner. One of the corners. I'll leave a link in there for you guys. But until next time, don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss my next post. And until then, my name's DJ Moore. This is the Modern Ninja, and I'm out.